Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be um, showing you how we spent our Nepi holiday, which is otherwise known as the Day of Silence. And it is a Hindu Balinese holiday. And might I add that just before we actually came to Bali, we didn't know anything or we didn't know what to expect with the culture here. And now we've been living here for almost two months and we have witnessed a little bit more cultural things. Actually, on the first day when we arrived and we were walking around the town, we saw a traditional funeral, which was quite a sight to see. They, it was also like a parade. They were parading around um, and they, was, they was, had stopped the traffic and everything. And um, we were really just inquisitive and we wanted to know more about the culture. And every day we would also witness um, ladies putting out the offerings like on the floor. It's kind of like a square bamboo offering that they put on the pathway or you know, at the entrance of stores and restaurants. And they also sometimes put them on little temples in certain areas, sometimes the temples on the road, sometimes they're in the villa or in the hotel. So we've really just been very curious about the culture. And we just basically had the best time to experience the culture because I believe that Nepi is one of the biggest holidays they have here in Bali. Um, as I said before, it is basically the silent day and it is reserved for self-reflection and meditation. And usually that means there's no talking, um, no pleasure, no entertainment, no working, no Wi-Fi, no cellular data, and sometimes no electricity too. So basically the whole day is reserved for meditation and just reflecting on your year. And the day before the Nepi holiday, there is a parade. It's called the Uga Uga Parade. And the reason for doing this parade is from what I've, I've learned, is that they basically try and attract the evil spirits and monsters um, by, by doing this parade. So they create these massive, massive creature type monster demons and they parade the streets with them making loud noises and shouting, etc. And then they say that that will attract the evil spirits and then the, the next day there will be a day of silence. So then once the evil spirits arrive to the island, they'll see that there's, the island is basically dead quiet. There's no lights, there's no people, etc. So the, the monsters will leave the island for another year. So it's basically like cleansing the island of all evil spirits for a whole new year. So I would say it's basically the new year and I've actually read online that it is the Balinese new year according to their uh, Balinese calendar. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how we spent our nappy day and I'm going to show you a bit of the parade. And let me know if you like this type of video. If you do, we will make more uh, videos about the culture and we will learn more about the culture and we will take you guys along to show you what that's like. foreigners. It is literally an army behind us, which is quite crazy. and we haven't left the room and they actually like you can see the sheets here they actually cleaned our room this morning um, which we thought they wouldn't do because obviously it's a holiday here and it's a Balinese holiday and you're supposed to be like silent but they cleaned our room they spoke to us like everything was pretty normal 
the only thing they did do is they blacked out our bathroom window um, and they asked us when we do use the lights later on this evening that we close the curtains. But now my question is to you is, do you say good morning to the people at the front desk? Or do you just keep quiet? Okay, then there's my answer because I just walked past the front desk and the guy didn't say a word. So obviously you just be silent. <laughs> spent the past like two hours um, in the pool chatting to some friends um, but there's like 15 people sitting down by the pool um, doing work eating lunch eating breakfast tanning chilling quite nice to see um, because it's not normally like that because people can usually go out the hotel but today they're kind of stuck here and they have to stay put so really nice to just see more um, friendly faces and chat to other people here so after we spent the morning by the pool we went up we had lunch we chilled I watched some YouTube videos and then I went to go work out um, it's day 30, 37 out of 100 days and I did a 20 minute warm-up walk and then I did a 2k interval sprint um, basically 100 meters sprint 100 meters jog and I was absolutely cooked because I was running outside um, kind of along the fence like in the bright bright sunshine but I got the workout done and I feel great now that I've kind of just chilled I'm gonna finish my bottle of water and we're going to actually fly the drone to see what the kind of deserted streets look like and also the beach because obviously there's no people out we might see a couple of people maybe um, but that will only be like people doing patrols making sure that nobody's outside because obviously it's silent day there's not a single soul on the beach like there's absolutely nobody i mean of course but it's just so crazy to check like So we've actually flown the drone up like onto the main street and they are like I think we saw two or three people walking but obviously it's the patrol people just making sure that we actually are staying at home. I have heard about it and I did see a guy this morning like patrolling the street um, here by the beach road so other than that it looks like a zombie apocalypse but you know it's just Bali silent day. <laughs> what are you doing? The drone lost signal. So Are you I have like to the Lion King for drones? Yeah, it's around 8.30 now and we're back in the room. Um, we went for a, I guess you can call it sunset swim, but there was these really dark clouds like rolling in. Um, and then we had a beer with another person in the hotel, new friend, and there was crazy thunder and lightning. I was absolutely freaking out but um, it was quite nice to be like outside in the nature and there was no lights on obviously because it's silent day and lights and noise apparently attract the monsters and the evil spirits so there was no lights on so we were kind of sitting in pitch dark just having a conversation having a beer with the sky lightening up every now and then we're now gonna close the curtains and lock the door so that we're safe from the monsters for tonight and probably watch something and head to bed. It's kind of a rule that we have to close the curtains um, if we want to keep the lights on in here and then they put like candles in the corridors so that you can still see where you're going. Um, yeah and they also blacked out our bathroom window today so that basically there's no lights shining out um, and also the outside of our room is normally lit up like kind of by the town lights I wouldn't call it city lights but 
it's pitch dark. I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like. So that's pretty much how we spent our Nepi holiday here. I would 100% recommend that if you are coming to Bali to actually come during March time. It is an awesome thing to experience. I know a lot of um, foreigners do kind of avoid this holiday, but I wouldn't. I would definitely stay and um, just experience the culture. It's absolutely amazing and insane to see. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's definitely one in a million and only happens in Bali. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. And if you want to know more about the Nepi holiday, then you can click up here because I made a video on the Nomio channel um, with a little bit more facts about the holiday. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye bye and thank you for watching.